we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so. <sighs> I do have mixed opinions about this shoe, but I won't take away from the fact that it's nostalgia and I've always wanted it, so I'm very grateful to have it. But this is one that, mm -hmm. <sighs> I gotta say, it's a must have. <laughs> it is a must have in the sneaker community. And uh, the shoe that we're taking a look at today, because I just wanna get straight into it, this video is gonna be long because I'm taking my time, but we're taking a look at the Air Jordan 4 in the military blue, industrial blue, and it's OG 1989 form. And just real quick before we begin, take a look at this one. Take a look at this picture right here. Out of all the ones you see right here, which is your favorite? Cause I'm definitely rocking with the 2012 color, but I like the OG more on this one for sure. And uh, yeah, we're in for a good one this video. Let's check it out together, let's go. Hey, what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it is your boy it is your kid nefert i hope you're having a great day and i truly hope you all all having a very very blessed day it is great to see you once again now in today's video as you can tell from the intro as you can tell from the title looking at the attire i had to go with my Leah shirt today i had to go with my jade necklace and again i'm going with the green bass pro I just love this hat and as you can see right here we got a pickup from the line and this is one that it's been anticipated ever since it got it got announced last year that it's coming back and this is actually a lot of people's sneaker of the year and I love it because I've never had it before, but at the same time, well, there are some differences and there's some things I do not like about it. So we're gonna talk about it. But with all that said though, I'm bringing you guys another sneaker review. And in today's video, as you can tell, like I already went ahead and said, we're looking at a release that a lot of people have been trying to get their hands on for a long time and they finally brought it back. We're taking a look at the Air Jordan 4 in the industrial blue, AKA military blue. And now retail price is 215. The uh, release date was today, May 4th. And um, this is one that even though I, I like it a lot, I do like, I've never had this one before. There's differences, but it still holds a very special place in my heart because this is a shoe that I've been wanting for a long time. I remember going, being in high school and just scrolling on a lot of like the uh, the sites and always seeing this shoe and being like, man, one day, one day, one day. Well, that day is today. So with all of that said, we are gonna go ahead and take a look at these military blues, industrial blues, whatever you wanna call them. But before we go ahead and actually look at these, I do wanna say thank you guys for all this love and support. I wanna give you guys a shout out and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first and foremost, thank you guys so much for all the love, the support, the comment, the engagement. I went live earlier this morning and a lot of you guys tapped in with that and I just want you to know, like, thank you so much for the wolves that actually came and showed love. It really, really means a lot. I'm, I'm trying to kind of like, you know, get more content out for you guys, different type of things, different type of styles. So this morning I was like, you know what, the military blues are coming out. Let's try to see if we can help people get dubs. And a lot of you guys did go ahead and take some W. So I really, really greatly appreciate you guys so much. If you haven't already, definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because you know we are on that race to 10K this year. We are 200 subscribers away from hitting 5 Okay, that's just nuts. So I want you to know, let's keep the momentum up, let's keep going, and uh, I just really love you guys a whole bunch. If you wanna get featured like you see right here, all you gotta go ahead and do is comment down below, literally engage with the channel. If you're engaging with the channel, letting the kid know how you feel today, how you feel about the, the videos, it lets me know that you're actually watching and you're enjoying them. I will go ahead and feature you like you see among all these people right here. And if you wanna go ahead and be a part of that, just engage, I'm telling you, I will, I will keep my word and I will get you guys right, I promise you. So. With all of that said, now it is time to look at the military blue. And I'm telling you right now, this video is gonna be a little bit longer. And by the way, as well as you can see from the outside, it's been a minute since we last been in this last spot, new camera, new everything. But I was like, for this one, we gotta bring it back to where it started. So let's begin. Okay, here we go, man, here we go. Good people over at Finish Line, they did go ahead and get that boy, that kid, right? So let's go ahead and put this right here. And we're, like I said, this is probably gonna be a longer video because I do wanna take my time with this one. This one is a special one, man. 
This is a special one right here. So starting with the box, as you can see, Jordan Brand has been doing with the speckling and then you have the Jordan right there. So just like the bread reimagines is the exact same thing. We did go ahead and get an all black box. It has flight on it. Actually, the only thing different about the bread reimagined, it was reversed. But this one does have your jump man right there in the middle and that's a flight. And looking at the side right there, you get more of the cement speckling that goes all the way around. You get that Nike Air, just like how this one has Nike Air in the back. Ooh. So let's go ahead and take a look at the size description, shall we? So size description does read Air Jordan 4 Retro, Off-White, Military Blue, size 11. And for this one, the women's is a 12 and a half. Now the SKU code on does read FV. 5029141. Let's go ahead and pan that so you guys can go ahead and take a look at that. And feel free to pause that to check it out. Now, let me just go ahead and say, when it comes to sizing, please go true to size. Um, I know that the newer fours have been coming with a newer build, and uh, some people have been telling me that you can actually go a half size down and it's a perfect fit. I just on the safe side will go a true to size, and you'll be fine with that. Now, this one right here, man. This one right here. Let's actually go ahead ooh, and take, you know what, let's restart that. Let's restart that. Let's take this actual, this lid together. So we're gonna go ahead and pop off the lid in three, two, and one. And this one right here is, man, this is now, I wanna say the fourth retro of this uh, military blue. And I know a lot of people, like I said, they've been wanting this for a long time. And there's some things that we're gonna talk about, but let's go ahead and pull, I can already see it. Oh, I can already see it. And it smells good too. So you do got your cement tissue paper right there. They didn't do that too good of a job of covering it up, but it's okay. So, and three, and two, and one. Here we go, All right there. We got the Air Jordan 4 in the military blue man right there oh my gosh 1989 as or as og as it gets so we're gonna talk about this because there's a couple things that i'm not the biggest fan of but i do understand because they obviously kept it true to the original so let's go ahead and take out the other one right now and then let's take a look at it and boom here we go right here we got the air jordan 4 military blue industrial blue i'm calling this military blue because that's really what they are you know nike just gives it a, a different name just to go ahead and play around with the name but here we go right here og and all and i will say before we take a look at it these look a lot different in hand than the pictures in the pictures they look a lot more bright and blue they don't really look like that but i still like the shoe so let's go ahead and take a look at the because we have the nike air let's go ahead and take a look at the left so Starting with the shoe right here, right? Starting with the Air Jordan 4. I'm so excited, bro. I've never owned this shoe in my life. That's just crazy. So starting with the shoe, as you can see, starting from the outsole, you do go ahead and you get your two-tone. Let me kind of actually see because it's kind of different on the camera. So you get your three-tone, you get gray, you get your blue, you get your gray, and then you have your white Nike right there with that's done in that Nike, that white color. As you come up to the midsole, as you can see, just like all your fours, you got your side panels right there. You got your air unit. Now for this one, okay, listen, this one, they kept it as true as possible. So the blue isn't as blue as like the 2006 and the 2012. That's my favorite military blue personally, but still it's nice. So you do have that industrial blue, that darker blue. And then right here, as you can see, you have gray and you have that off white white if that makes sense color it's not really white it's more like a gray type of color as we go right here you do have your excuse me your cage unit right there as you can see then you do have your eyelids where are done your accents done in the industrial blue then as you come up to the back of the heel right here everyone's favorite part when it comes to anything nike product or shoes is that nike air and this one it looks really good they went ahead and done it immaculate as you see right there you have that pull tab in blue that goes ahead and flips up and then as you can see right here you have nike and you have that air oh man so so nice looking at the overall the shoe you get more hits of it right here and the shape of this is actually different too the shape of it is a lot different uh like i said they updated it. they made it really really nice the tongue looks good too, as we can see right here. You got your white laces right there, and then you do have your Jumpmanda in flight and the industrial blue 
or military blue. As you come up, look at the sock liner right here. The sock liner is done in a nice white. And then as you come up to the tongue right here, the tongue, you do have your Air Jordan stitched right there and your blue tongue for this for right there. And like I said, the tongue is really plush. They made it more round. Uh, the, the old fours used to kind of have that stick out tongue, but this one kind of has more crafted nice. The craftsmanship on this pair at least is really nice. Then as we come up to the notorious Nike hang tag, this one is done in the orange with it. If I'm not mistaken, I think the other one used to have that metallic. It was kind of a little bit heavier, which kind of added a little bit more, you know, to the shoe. But there it is right there. There it is right there, the Air Jordan 4 in the military blue, industrial blue. And truthfully, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that I have this shoe because I was never able to obtain this because, you know, back then I just wasn't really up to shoes how I am now. And I like it, and I do love how they went back with the OG, but I will truly say this shoe is, on the pictures, looked so much more brighter and popper, if that makes sense. Not really, popper's not really a word, but, like, it popped more than in person so it's really more gray in person i'm gonna be truly honest but that's how the og was so i get it i'm not mad at it but i would have definitely preferred i'm more for the 20s 2006 2012 if i'm being completely honest but the shoe itself is i mean oh man i love the shape i love they need to stay with this shape for the fours for a long time this is a good one man this is a good one they really went ahead and did their thing on this one i i, I love it uh, can't wait to get wears in. I'm for me personally, just because I, I want to preserve it as long as I can. I'm gonna buy some uh, some sole shields just to go ahead and make it so that way it doesn't get too crusty, dusty. Cause I know shoes are meant to be worn, but this is one of those you know I want to take care of for a good good minute. So let me know what you guys think about that. And really quick too, I am gonna go ahead and do a small little comparison because we are there's another shoe that I want to hear you guys your guys' opinion because a lot of people have been saying they liked it more than these and I'll show you guys right here shortly so here we go right now let's go all right guys here we go Are you ready here we go right here so it's the Air Jordan 4 military blue or are you going with the Air Jordan 4 bread reimagined now a lot of people have been saying they are taking the breads over in the militaries and Oh man, that's such a hard, that's such a hard choice. I've been waiting to do this comparison. That's such a hard choice because I've never had these before, so that within itself is special. I have the 2019 pairs, but I gotta admit, man, these are, they really did right with these. They really did right. I'm not even gonna lie, these are really crispy. I, I, I gotta say, personally, personally, when it comes, I know I'm, this video's been, I'm taking a while, but I do apologize. I gotta say, I like, the craftsmanship more on this than I do this, but this is more nostalgia to me than than the the bread rear matches are. So because of that purpose, and I'm trying to think of when the kid was you know in high school, he never he always won them. <sighs> I gotta say it, man. I gotta say it. I'm going with the I'm going with the the Air, the Air Jordan Four military blues. I am I, I am these. Don't get me wrong, crispy crispy cream, but. This is nostalgia right here. I, I've always wanted this shoe. I'm happy to finally have it. So yeah, I'm taking the military blues over the breads, but still a nice shoe though. Still a nice shoe. So let me know what you guys think about it down below. I'm gonna go ahead and break away to an on feet review. I kind of know the you know the video was kind of a little bit closer, but I do want to give you guys a closer perspective. So let's go ahead and take a look at the military blue right here. So here we go right here. We got the Air Jordan 4 Mila. Terry blue we're not calling them industrial blue i know that's the name but military blue in the 2024 edition and i really think these are a nice shoe it smells are on point colors are on point i just really think i would have rather the pop of blue but i understand it's, it's an og it is an og love the nike air on it uh definitely going to be one that's going to be worth for the the summertime uh, this is one I'm, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do how to style videos. Let me know if you copped. I know a lot of people on sneakers in particular, they went ahead and took L's. I actually took a W today, but, but granted, even before that, I was taking lots and lots of, of L's. I didn't even get the exclusive access. I didn't get the shock drop. So I'm happy to see I was able to hit on these. So double up is definitely already obtained. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about them. And if you are still on the hunt for them, 
let me know because I really want to hear all your guys' opinions. So let me know right now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this has been the review over the Air Jordan 4 Industrial Blue, Military Blue, and this is a special one. This is a special one. This, this, this is one that I've seen a lot of the people in the sneakerheads were very thankful to, to have it. This is one of those nostalgia ones, I'm telling you. Like, a lot of us were really young when this one came out, so we weren't, didn't have the money to go ahead and grab it, but now, you know, we do, so... Let me know what you guys think about it. It's just been your boy, it's been your kid, Nefra. I know I kind of rambled a little bit, but I just wanted to really go ahead and actually take my time with this one just because this is a good shoe. This is this is a good shoe. Uh, and I'm really just happy to have it, man. Seriously. Appreciate all the love. You know, we're getting ready to hit 5K subscribers major. Hit that like button. Uh, and with all that said, I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.